Good morning, everyone. Well, sometimes on my coffee walks, I like to just wander around the garden and see what I can harvest that we can eat for the day. And I know I have some ingredients for a garden fresh salad and for some delicious herb yogurt salad dressing. And a lot of you have asked for both of those recipes. They're not really recipes, but they're really easy to make. And I'm gonna show you how to do it on today's coffee walk. So thanks a lot for hanging out with me in the garden today. Let's get to harvesting. Why is it that coffee always tastes so much better in the garden? Now, I don't know if you guys remember from the spring garden video where we planted all the lettuce seeds. They are feeling an absolutely amazing. I remember I told you guys on that video that I wanted a lot of colors and textures in this garden. The red romaine lettuce and the black seeded Simpson, and there's black seeded Simpson in the back here, look absolutely beautiful and are really feeling in this garden space with color and texture. So we're gonna pick some of it today and have it in our salad for lunch and probably for dinner as well. Now right next to the lettuce, there's a cucumber plant here with my very first cucumber of the season, so I'm really excited to have it on my salad today. It's so hard to find good cucumbers in the grocery store, but they're so easy to grow in your own garden and so, so tasty. Oh, I'm so excited to eat this, you guys. Let me know in the comments if you love fresh cucumbers too. Now I think I might even have a homegrown tomato to pick today from the garden grocery store, which would be amazing in my garden fresh salad. Oh yes, there it is. Not quite ripe, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it because I just can't wait. While I'm here, I'm also gonna grab some nasturtium leaves and some nasturtium flowers, which are both edible and super, super tasty and also make for a beautiful salad. Because it's not just about the taste. For me, it's about the beauty and the ornamentalness, if that's a word, of your salad as well. Let's grab some chives for our salad dressing. So tasty, so aromatic. Now even though I've kind of been neglecting the strawberry tower so far this season, they're still producing berries. Aren't these beautiful? Oh, these are gonna be absolutely amazing on our garden fresh salad today. It's so much fun on these coffee walks to harvest from the garden grocery store. Let me know what harvesting you're doing in your garden grocery store too. Whoops, dropped one. I'm also gonna grab some of this beautiful red vein sorrel. Isn't this pretty? Well, so far we've got a nice little harvest from our garden grocery store. On my way up the hill here, I'm just gonna grab some kale and then we'll be ready to make our salad. Oh, and some more herbs too. This is a blue scotch curled kale. It's just starting to go to seed, but it is super delicious in salads. Now I'm gonna grab some basil. It's the Genovese basil, the purple basil. These are all in my herb garden seed collection. Oops, that plant came right up. You definitely don't wanna do that. You just wanna pinch off the top. <laughs> and let's grab some dill. I love the dill in the salad dressing. Oh, it just adds such an amazing flavor. The great thing about herbs is the more you harvest them by pinching off the tops, the more it encourages growth. So you definitely wanna harvest your herbs regularly. This is some parsley and cilantro. So I've picked up all of my ingredients from the garden grocery store for our garden fresh salad. Oh my goodness, that looks so, so tasty. So I'm gonna go wash up these greens and show you how I like to put my salad and my salad dressing together. Well, I've got all my greens and herbs washed and chopped and it's such a gorgeous day out here. I thought we would make our salad and dressing outside here with our coffee. You guys up for it? Okay, first let's put together the ingredients for the salad. Look at these greens, they look absolutely beautiful. Remember how I said I like colors and textures in my salad? You can totally see all the, the red romaine, the kale, the beautiful black seeded Simpson, and where's that red vein sorrel? Isn't that gorgeous? So I like to just pile my greens on top of a plate here, and then just pile on the delicious garden fresh ingredients. We've got our strawberries here. Just sprinkle those on top. It's so quick and easy to make a fresh, tasty, garden fresh salad. There's no excuses not to eat healthy when you're growing your own food. Here we're just gonna layer on the cucumbers. And I did pick a couple of peppers the other day. So we're gonna sprinkle over some peppers. And let's stick the tomatoes on here. This is so, so quick. And the ingredients that are left over, what I'll do is I'll just layer them in a 9 by 13 pan in between paper towels and they'll stay fresh for several days. Oh, and I almost forgot, I had a couple little broccoli heads that I picked off the last of the season. 
I went ahead and pulled the broccoli out to make some room for some squash plants, I believe. And then we're gonna top it. Well, actually, we're gonna wait for the nasturtiums until we get the dressing on. So now for the garden fresh herb yogurt dressing. So I like to make my own Greek yogurt. I make it in the Instant Pot. If you've never made your own yogurt, it's so much better than store-bought and so delicious and very easy in the Instant Pot. So what we're gonna do first is just chop up the herbs. Just give them a rough chop. And you can pack as many herbs as you can into your salad dressing. It doesn't matter what herbs, just go out in your garden and pick what you got. Here you can see this dressing is just nice and creamy and I like to pack as many herbs as I can in here. I've got about a cup or so of the Greek yogurt. Throw in the herbs. It's not really a recipe, it's just you kind of just throw it in and do it to taste. I'm going to put some salt and pepper in it and I love the sea salt. That's what I'm using here. Fresh ground pepper, you've got to have the fresh ground, it makes such a huge difference. And then I really love this 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's. It's got all kinds of seasonings in it. Just sprinkle some of that in. And then I always love to do a squeeze of lemon juice. This is actually a half of a lemon from the lemon I picked last week. I've got a half left over. Just squeeze it right in. Oh, it just adds such a delicious flavor to your yogurt salad dressing. And this dressing is also great to use for dips. Slice up some of your cucumbers or your sugar snap peas. Oh, so delicious. Gonna give that a stir. Look at all those garden fresh herbs. Oh my goodness. I wish you guys could smell it here. Super, super yummy. Now ideally you wanna let this sit for a couple of hours in the refrigerator. And it'll keep for up to a week or so. I always love to have a nice fresh jar of this in my refrigerator. And then I just pretty much do it to taste. So I'm gonna slice another cucumber here and just taste it. Mmm, absolutely delicious. Now if you wanna make it a little bit thinner, add more lemon juice. You can even add a little bit of milk if you want a really thin salad dressing. Now let's put a little on our salad and give it the taste test. I'm actually going to just put a little bit on the corner of my salad here and save the rest for lunchtime. Okay guys, I've only just had my coffee this morning, but I've got to give this garden fresh salad with a yogurt herb salad dressing a taste. Oh, so good and so, so beautiful. Can you guys see this? <laughs> mm. Wow, the flavors absolutely explode in your mouth. And the nasturtiums add such a beautiful touch to the salad. Well guys, let me know if you love garden fresh salads as much as I do, what you're harvesting from your garden, how you like to put your salads together, and if you're gonna try the herb yogurt dip. I absolutely love it. Thanks so much for joining me on today's coffee walk. I guess I better go finish my coffee. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Ooh, now how about more of that salad?